Okay, so I've got some bits from the deli paper. This is a nice way of looking at where you can add collage bits and see how it looks on the page before you start sticking things down. So I've just cut a simple circle, which has left me with the remaining square. I'm just looking at whereabouts I might want to add those. Just cut a few more little collage bits out of the deli paper. I've also got one of my transparent butterflies which I'm going to add here and also I'm going to layer that with a bit of sheet music but before I do that I'm going to do some journaling just with a fine black pen this is a fine sharpie it's going to do some journaling in this corner and then I can start to overlap things a little bit I sometimes find if I write myself some lines it's easier to journal on those lines it doesn't feel like such a big open space to be writing in I've also got a bit of simple sort of neutral black and white washi tape. I'm bringing in a bit of stitching to the page which is always optional. I just use my regular sewing machine with a regular needle and I stitch it first so that by the time I put it on the page it looks as though I've stitched it to the page but this way is a lot more straightforward. I'm going to add those there overlapping my journaling here and then I'm going to add my little um, Tim Holtz transparent butterfly at the top of one of the leaves. Now the last few bits I want to add to this page and sometimes it's hard knowing when to stop it is getting quite busy but then if it's fun and you're enjoying the process you can just keep going I'm going to just add some stabilo just little running lines around the edges of these leaves it just helps to kind of bed them into the page a bit I've also got some Amsterdam deep gold and some top layers with some junk stamping, so I've just got an old cup or tube. You can also add just some more little finger dots, and even a bit with a palette knife. And if you just keep that parallel, you can just scrape a little bit in. 